it will once I get it all out of my nails and stuff. Oh, really? Bruh, yeah. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. Nails <laughs> don't. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yes, he is. You missed it. <laughs> no, no. That's why. <laughs> Look at the top of this. So what y'all plan on traveling to when um when when the world is completely back open? I will say if this ever gonna happen, but. Said little chick, you can book with me if you wanted to. These expensive, these is passports, international shoes, hit the resorts. I can stay at both. I don't wanna choose, and I'm quick to switch my room up, so don't get comfortable. Look, I don't gotta work. I make travel moves. No matter five, I make. Yeah. <laughs> 
it will once I get it all out of my nails and stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, she picked up sand from the beach. <laughs> It is dope. What are you talking about? It's not <laughs> Yes, it is. You missing something. No, I'm not. Steph rides the power. <laughs> yeah. All the facts. No, the no, hell I'm, I'm not. Yeah. All right, mix it up. Mix it up. What you talking about, oh, buddy? It is fucking dope. I know what I'm doing, mama. We made this the first time. Y'all made there. pizza. Y'all made pizza. Yeah, it's the first thing we did in COVID. <laughs> Shut up, this one. Uh, <laughs> give me my roller. Ain't no roller. My roller. No roller. I'm gonna do nasty on my hands. You can do that. It's just not gonna be smooth. I think I need to add some more. Why are you look so heavy? Because I'm trying to get the hair off. Oh, you got the roller? She ain't expecting to mop this bitch. Yeah, my son's gonna clean the kitchen. <laughs> uh, sleep. My 16 year old and his friend, Jaden. Yeah. You can up. follow my son on his channel, Dynamic HQ. You know, you can follow mine too at Luke He's Eat like Select. a challenge gamer. I, I really don't know what his channel is, but I see. Yeah, if I had to guess, I would say, like like I said, he's a, a challenge gamer. Like, he's a gamer, but he does challenges, you know, and tries to meet them, you know, and then, you know. Tolio and it is traditional white, with white. herbs and garlic in it. Now my this kids are a little picky, and, and so you know they don't like stuff with all the extra stuff in it. And then I like a lot of sauce. You know, I don't know about y'all, but so I'm gonna have to put a little bit more sauce than this on here. But you know I'm not gonna go out with the eggs. Oh, it's a little. Oh, everything the girls put in this. Oh, okay. I saw that. Yeah. I am going to add some mozzarella. We got the big bag, you know, we got a family of nine, sometimes 11 and 12. When my son's friends come over, my nephew, you hear them in the background being all loud. It's got a regular salsa. It's a salsa with dough. In my video. We make a video better. Do y'all hear them? But won't get on camera. So, Bro, the that camera will be my video better. Like, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna add some pork provolone cheese to mine. Cause I saw her add that on it so good. So I'm gonna give it a try. So I'm just gonna cut me up some. Cause I don't have, a, I need to give me a shredder too. That's another thing I need to get. I think my camera has been watched down with bleach. So, with that being said, this is called provolone cheese. Oh, that cheese smacked. I sure hope so. Yeah, they can see. 
but this is in the way though. I'm sorry, move that. I don't even need that. Can you move that out of my shot, please? I moved it out of your shot. Can you give us the cheese, please? Give us the cheese. Try, try, try that cheese, but it feels good. The burger? The grilled burger? Oh, wait a minute. I didn't mean to add this yeah, on yet. Yeah. I have these types of pepperoni. They're humongous. I want to add some small ones on there as well. And I paid all this money. Look, y'all. I'm going to let y'all see this pizza when I'm doing it. I love pepperoni. I don't know. If you a Pisces, comment down below if you love pepperoni. If you a cancer, Because I love pepperoni, y'all. And then watch how much more cheese that I'm gonna add on the top. Cause that ain't even that ain't half enough, y'all. First of all, deal the mozzarella back from the boys. Can we, we need to take it. Like, we get bigger. We need a whole kitchen. Like, oh, over man. Like look at him. Just look. He wanna put his hand in my video, but I don't wanna be in the video. I'll be right here and take it. Excuse me. Say hey, Jaden. Hey. All right, y'all, I think this is enough. Then I'm gonna put mine straight on the rack on 400. It's crazy. So let me like show it to y'all. Stink. You I ain't even. No, yeah, no. Look, it's gonna be amazing. Oh this is my first time making a homemade pizza, y'all, and I am 39 years old. We get it. Ooh, the chicken time. is you almost think? my first time. Your first ever. time? That's crazy. I made mine like two months ago. Pizza, y'all. Oh, Look at the mess they have made. You made that. You did it. Look at him. See, you gonna put add a little more cheese on top of yours? No, I'm good. That's what I'm finna do. I don't like cheese like that. Y'all use my extra thick pepperoni. Yeah, we did. Cause you wanna use the humongous pepperoni. Okay, well I'm finna put the rest of these wings. Look at y'all cleaning up this mess. Yeah. Yeah, you see, did this that. I'm gonna put those wings in there. Hey, bro. Hey. And then I'm gonna put them on to the side. We did some of this. And then I'm gonna put the other six right in there. There you go. With the other flour. I'm gonna put them in there for 15 minutes as well on 370. Y'all see me wear my hands. Yep. Why would you wash my hands before I touch my pizza again? I right now. I don't want y'all talking about me like, girl, she don't need to wash her hands after touching that cheek. Baby. So, guys, I just took my chicken out the deep fryer. The deep fryer, not the air fryer. I'm putting them back in this bowl. I may share with my son. So I'm so excited! I can't wait for my pizza to get done that I just made. Son, it's a rag. This is my son and his friend Jaden's pizza. It's thing. No, it can burn your nostrils, literally. It did good. Oh my god! They <laughs> said they didn't care how theirs looked. They was hungry. I was hungry. And I got some fruit loops they said in my I bag. tried to make mine look cute for my video. Oh, like, that's okay. You cut that out? What? <laughs> nothing, said. nothing. Yeah. You'll see. <laughs> Hold it still. God, look how you got my I pizza looking good. I thought you looking, good culinary. I did. I Bro, never it looks like I got a We do, we do dice and cuts like professional cuts. This is just normal pizza cutting. Come on. And all the sauce. Topping coming out. Your right. pizza fat, dude. Exercise. Right. You talking about fat pizza? It look like I got cheese pizza. Times yeah, four. I told y'all the flat man. Show y'all. Don't listen. I don't care. I like my fat. Care. That's what I'm saying. We, come on, now we got. Like, it ain't even not one. It's husky, no slim. It's That's just, what we got. You know, we get too That's easy. a slim and wooski. Yeah, don't touch my flats. No, no, don't touch me. Hold on. That's a slim and wooski. Them my plates. No. Oh no, not the garden. Them my plates. You got three plates. What is you doing with your life? Well, Them my two for my video. Get you one out the cabinet. No, y'all need to get paper plates. Okay, I got okay. real videos in the cabinet. I wash dishes. And uh, yeah, you deal with that. Come on, I wash dishes every, every day. Ain't no way I'm not. I'm using a paper plate and I wash dishes every day. See y'all here. Can you hold the pan right. still? Right. It's hot. It's loud. Look at that. Hey, hold on, wait a minute. Hurry up, man. Hold on, bro. It's smiling now. Hey, I'm trying to go to sleep guys. so ugly. Ah. But come here, dude. Y'all ain't going to see. Yeah, I think I'll see in this kitchen. 
I thought he. Yeah, but Jaden said he going to sleep after. I was just playing. I know. Everybody know I'm not going to go to sleep. Bro, you. No. Stop. Come on, because my no. pizza be ready in a minute, I think. Oh, it was no, it. Bro, no. I was going to have powder. Oh, I did put extra flour on my Duh, pepperoni. Duh, stupid. Oh, like, where did that powder on my pepperoni go from? <laughs> Told you all that flour you wanna y'all wanna play. They did that. I didn't know flour did his idea. And you you was in culinary. That's why I say this idea and I just left from. And come on, move it, cause my pizza finna be ready. It may already be ready. <laughs> come on, sir. Move, we gotta take it out. You act like you gonna Dude, do it. We're going to fight. Come on. Slow motion. Hold on. Come on, get on. I said we're yeah. gonna do slow motion, hold on. Like I said, your mom. I low-key forgot. I bet you won't do it again. <laughs> y'all, let's move. They look broke. Burnt pan. She just beat it. Ooh, look, y'all. I'm going to cut it when I eat. Because I'm going to make my first mukbang. Or however you say it. Mukbang. Mukbang. My bad. Mukbang video. It's a mukbang. Coming soon. Mukbang. Whatever. I'm, I'm Sound it out for me in the comments. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Mom Boss Mayo here. And I am so excited because this is my first mukbang video. And I'm doing it with my favorite food. Pepperoni pizza that I homemade all by myself. And these are Caribbean jerk barbecue honey wingettes that I, you know, put together and then I have me some drink over here and I have my pizza cutter here and mm, it just smells so good. Like, I just wish you guys could just really just see it. Like, mm, mm, it smells so good. So, I'm going to set my brace and then we're going to get into it. Lord, thank you for this food. Thank you. Let this food bless me and my baby's body. Since I breastfeed, I'll be blessed by you. In your son, Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let's see here. I love pepperoni, y'all. Like, oh my God. Yeah, I'm probably like, she's smiling super hard. Like, I really am, y'all, because. I've never made a homemade pizza before. Like never. never. And then I used this an ingredient that I saw on um it's so good. Y'all should go watch her. And let's just see how it turned out. Know when your food good when you get your dance done. What's up? What's up? Mm. 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 Y'all probably got like, them wings looking a little scarce. They are. My son and his friend. I'll be like, Mom, you can share with us. Everybody else sleep. So I gave them some. So. Matter of fact, let's taste one. Did it. Yeah. 
something. Who really got me in the spirit of wanting to cook and video and stuff. Is Tabitha Brown. And even though she a vegan, oh my God, I love her video. I'm going to make that carrot bacon too. I'm going to try to see if I can um get away with it. And with Jaleel. And see if she thinks it's real bacon. But that's amazing that somebody that really don't even eat the same type of foods that I eat has made me, like I already cook for my kids, but... They're so picky, so I always cook the same thing. But lately, I have been doing new things with them, especially in this quarantine. And it's it's been working. That was so excited to make pictures today. So excited. Even my one-year-old made her own pizza. It was y'all saw in the video. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I don't know if y'all ever made homemade dough for. I like what she did say. <laughs> well, I said. I don't know if you ever done made homemade dough before, but. Stiff rice and flour and Greek yogurt. It's what's up. I am making my own pieces from now on. So bye bye to all the fast food ones. I ain't gonna name them. I'm gonna promote them. They ain't paying me. What I am promoting is this mom boss mayo pizza. Made in my Nashville kitchen. Oh. This video video gonna be so funny when I go back and edit it. Edit it. <laughs> go back and edit it. Cause I've never done this before. Like just sitting and eating and talking to the camera about whatever, as you can see. Well, it's, it's cool. This is something I can get used to. So, if you like this channel, like to hear from me, hear what I'm talking about. Because my kids are hilarious. They're asleep right now. Well, actually, two of them are gone. Baby boy sleep. My seven-year-old sleep. My 10-year-old is in there. Literally, y'all, still on his sport, my guy. I can't even be mad at him. Got my 16 year old here in that editing his YouTube video. Remember, I told y'all he's a gamer. He does challenges and stuff. So, you should go follow him. Dynamic HQ. And if y'all gonna see my food while I'm talking, please put that down in the comments and let me know. Because I'll start waiting until I'm done. That's why I keep covering my mouth. That's how I like. I'm trying not to be rude. So. Excuse me. But this pizza is double. Mm -mm. What's up? What's up? So what y'all planning on traveling to when um when when the world is completely back open? I will say if this ever gonna happen, but you guys may not know I'm a travel professional. I own a travel agency, and I've helped a, a hundred people, over a hundred people actually start their own travel business within the past four years, where you can earn money. On what you're doing anyway, what your friends and family are doing anyway, 
save money on what you're doing. Get additional um, tax write-offs. You know, um, if you um, you know, if you have kids that have gone off to college, or don't have kids, starting a business is the right way to go. And I would love to show you how you can maximize and travel a trillion dollar industry. And I have a full video about that coming real soon. Mm, excuse me. But when I say this business changed my life, it changed my life. We were always taught, you better go to school, get them good grades, so you can get that full scholarship, so you can get that good paying government job or whatever kind of job, good paying. And we we'll do all that. And still, Not qualified. <laughs> like, I went to school. Like, I grew up in the hood. Lisha Avenue. Nashville, Tennessee. Long time in my game. And I knew I didn't want what I saw in my environment. Teen pregnancy. Murder. Drug addiction, fighting all the time. My, mm -mm. I did not want this, so I went to school. I was a cheerleader. I was in Madrid. I played basketball, ran track, battle club, national honor society, student council, you name it. Mm -hmm. I sounded like that. Greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes. Yeah, that. <sighs> but. I mean, did that. True enough, I did go to college on the full scholarship. I had about 15 different colleges, you know, that came, you know, presented, you know, scholarships to me. And I'm grateful, you know, to have had that now. Kids get a whole lot more, you know, but nobody taught me, you know, my guidance counselor did, thank God, you know, you know, how to send them, you know, my college applications and stuff. And um, most of my college applications, I got waived. Um, the fees got waived because um, I submitted a letter with them. You know, basically explaining, you know, that I grew, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, growing up in poverty, which wasn't a lie, and that my mom couldn't afford, you know, to pay for these college applications for me. And you know, so a lot of schools waived their application fees for me. Um, and I went to Alabama a and on a full presidential scholarship. They actually came to my high school and presented it to me. I actually thought I was in trouble when they called me to the office. I never forget the principal. He was like, with a valedictorian, salutatorian, and rank number three, get in my office right now. I was valedictorian, in case you're wondering which one was it, which one I was. Y'all probably like. Like I said, I went to school, you know, on the full scholarship, graduated magnum cum laude. Got pregnant with my son um, after I graduated college. Graduated college, had my son. Um, I took a break. Um, five years, actually. Uh, four years. I graduated in 2003, um, magnum cum laude. 2007, I started graduate school back um, um, majoring in biology, fifth year um, program where I would teach biology. I finished the program. I needed to do student teaching, but before I did that, I was a geometry teacher um, taught, teaching 11th and 12th grade geometry um, the year before. So the next year when it was time to, for me to do my student teaching, I was pregnant with my second son in 2009. And my advisor, she 
not my advisor. My advisor was for me, but the field director, Dr. Foster, she was not for me. And I told her I was pregnant, so she wanted to limit my abilities and tell me that I wouldn't be able to complete my student teaching. And I'm like, you know, don't limit me because you feel, you know, maybe you wouldn't be able to complete it, ma'am. But, you know, so I gave her, you know, run down of my background, which I already had told y'all. Like, so anything that you put in front of me, I can do. But she won't let me do it. So after speaking with some of my professors, I decided to just, you know, change my major completely to just um, biology, microbiology. That's the ice. I mean, that's the water from the filter from the refrigerator. You know, change it straight to microbiology. So they required me to take 15 more credit hours, but I was willing to do whatever I needed to do to finish my master's degree. So I finished it um, December 2011. Think in May, I'm from walk across the state. January, they come telling me, um, you know, you got to take a comprehensive exam. What? Why didn't nobody tell me that? You know, it's all good. And then they tell me, you got to take the comprehensive exam, but you got to be enrolled in school to take it. What? Uh-uh. So trying to tell me that I'm completely done with all my courses to get my master's degree. And I'm going to have to enroll in a class that I don't need in order to come take a comprehensive exam. That I'm going to have to come to take on my own time anyway. Like, what sense does that make? Like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not, I'm not taking out no other student loan because at this time, my master's degree... No, that wasn't free. So I got student loans for that. I'm not taking out no student loan to come up here to take a test on my own time. So, like I said, I don't take no for an answer. I wrote letters to the president, the dean of every school, the uh, the, the dean of uh, academics, the president of the school, everything. Make a long story short, they let me take the comprehensive exam and I was not enrolled in school and I did finish it. Got my master's degree. And then right after that, my mama had a brain tumor. I found the brain tumor. She had a seizure. My nephew, he was super young. He found her unresponsive in her bed. Scary thing. And so she had a brain tumor. You know, they cut it out. You know, she was walking the next day after the surgery. You know, so they was like, this is a miracle, you know. And, you know, she still had to take seizure medicine for the rest of her life because she had seizures due to that. But other than that, you know, she was doing, you know, okay. And then in 2014, December, December the 17th, actually December the 15th, the worst day of my life when my older brother was murdered. And to this day, five years later, we still don't know. Or well, the police still don't know. I'm going to say that. You know, who done it? And it's been hard on my mama. She had anxiety. So now she's taking anxiety medicine. And, but I, you know, kept pushing. Like, I gotta push for my mama. I gotta push for my brother, four kids that he left behind. And my sister had four kids. At this time, I only had four kids. I got six now, as you can see. So, in 2016, when my mentor and also a college um, friend, someone I knew from college, she launched her Facebook page and she was holding a globe. And I was like, wait a minute, what's this? Because, you know, she was the head chilling coach of our college. We went to HBCU, Alabama, and then Bulldogs. And she had a top government job, you know, making six figures, almost making six figures. You know, so I'm like, wait a minute, what's she doing? Because, honey, if she's doing something extra... It got to be bringing her some money in or something. So, I reached out to her. Well, I watched for like a week. I watched a little bit because I think she launched her page like in January. But I don't think I saw the page for like mid-February or something like that. I, but I went back snooping through, like I said, because her page intrigued me. I reached out to her. I got on the webinar one night. And they talking about how you can save money, earn money on your own travel. Like, going to Bahamas for $99 per person for four days. Like, not. I was like, wait a minute. I am so, honey. So, she called me the next day. And I actually want a three-day, two-night getaway to a hotel just for getting on the webinar. I'm like, wait a minute. So, honey, I signed up right then. 
sleeping on the air mattress at my mama's house because our old house had termites and I was not standing with my kids. So all our stuff we had put in storage and we moved up out of there. Because I knew in order for things to change, I need to change. I don't went to school and got all this education and then can't find a job or not getting a job because I'm either overqualified or underqualified. Like, what sense does that make? Like, what I go to school for, like, that's where the job, on-job training comes from. After I get all the school experience, now it's up to y'all to give me a chance to hire me for the job, but that didn't happen. So I'm so thankful for this travel business. And I would love to share, you know, more of a few of you interested in knowing more how it changed my life. Me and my kids are seeing the world. I'm building up a savings account. I'm leaving them a legacy. So if I was to close my eyes today, they would continue to get the money that I was getting. Thank you for watching my channel. If you like it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I did a good job on my first one. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Mama Six, just trying to enjoy life. I had, you know, a death scare two, three months ago. And I'll share that with you guys the next time I, you know, do this. Thank you for all your support. Bye.